Howdy folks, it's the Creepy Kentuckian here with you from Dead Pit Radio. Back with you guys again with another review. This one from Kino Lorber's part of the Studio Classics line. Not a horror movie, but it's interesting. It's something a little bit different, you know, in the winter months. It's not all horror usually. And this is a film... Directed by Ted Kotcheff, who most famously directed First Blood, the original Rambo movie from the same year, actually the same month. These came out back to back in October of 1982. This one is the lesser known of those two. Split Image, which as far as I could see, the last official home video release for this was the VHS and the CD. If you go online and do a little bit of searching, yeah. So our good friends over at Kino Lorber brought this out for the very first time on disc since CD, if that counts as a disc. And this sounds really interesting, guys. It has a cool cast in it. You got Karen Allen, Brian Dennehy, James Woods, Peter Fonda is in this as well. Anything with Peter Fonda in it, usually I want to at least check it out. I'm kind of a fan. So we're going to dig into this edition today, the Keno Lorber Studio Classics with this beautiful slip cover. We're going to talk about the movie, then we're going to talk about this disc, baby, and the end of the end. Split Image from 1982, a.k.a. Missing Pieces. It stars... Michael O'Keefe as an all-American college gymnast, Danny, who's lately been feeling the pressure of school and life in general, and in particular, his future. His parents especially are kind of hard on him, right? He feels that. I think at that age, everybody kind of felt that from their parents. One day, he meets the beautiful Amy, played by Karen Allen, who introduces him to her family, which happens to be a crazy religious cult called Homeland, where he meets and is seemingly brainwashed by their charismatic leader, Neil Kirklander, played by, of course, who else? Peter Fonda, who quickly puts Danny on a treadmill and makes him change his name to Joshua, and he has become the newest member of the Homelander family. Danny's parents, played by Brian Dennehy and Elizabeth Ashley, hire bounty hunter Charles Pratt, played by James Woods, to kidnap Danny and deprogram his brainwashed mind from the manipulative Kurtlander. But let's just say it's not going to be that easy. So this movie was crazy, guys. It was also very entertaining. 1982, the Jonestown Massacre and the cult and everything was still clear in everyone's mind. And this was a great idea for a movie. And like I'd said earlier, this is the first of Kotcheff's two movies released in October of 1982. The other happens to be the very first Rambo movie, which was a gigantic success. This one, not so much for whatever reason. You know, there are scenes in this movie with O'Keefe and Wood's character where it's almost like an exorcism, if you will. That's kind of what I thought. Performance in this is pretty good. Michael O'Keefe doesn't really fit as the lead character, Danny slash Joshua, in this. Also, I love Karen Allen, but honestly, she seemed a bit too old for her character in this movie. I think she was around 30 plus years old by the time this movie came out. So, yeah, I mean, it's not perfect. There are issues with it for sure. Always fun to see Brian Dennehy and James Woods, great actors, great character actors uh, from the 80s and 90s, especially. Well, I did have fun with it. It did have some issues as well. This one totally felt more like a made for TV movie than a theatrical film. Throughout the entire thing, I was like, well, this was something that aired on CBS or something. But no, this was a theatrical movie. It felt very, very TV-esque, though. I don't know how to explain it. It just felt like one of those, you know, ABC Sunday night movies. See, I mean, overall, though, I had fun with Split Image. Um, would it be a high recommendation? Maybe not. But if this sounds like something that you may like, put it on a wish list. 
wait for it for one of those Kino sales, $7.99, $8.99. It's a solid purchase at that price. Kino does a fantastic job with these releases. The transfer on this thing looks amazing. And like I'd said before, this had never had an official DVD or Blu-ray release up until this point. So it may be one you want to check out. Now, as far as bonus features on this thing, there's not a lot. There's an audio commentary by film historian and filmmaker Daniel Creamer, theatrical trailers, and that's pretty much it. It is a bare bones edition in a lot of ways. That's kind of how Kino does it, but I love how Kino does it. These movies are made to move and they just get them out there. So that is it, guys. That's it for the review. Split Image is out now. Be sure to check it out and check us out. We're over at deadpit.com. Give us a thumbs up. Off you butt. Like, subscribe. And if you subscribe, here's something else you can do. Once you subscribe, you can click the bell notification, right? And it'll notify you anytime. That dead pit puts up new shit. Poor dog, I really don't give a fuck. No I want you to. I want you to. <laughs> I don't let's, care. let's keep our community growing here on I, YouTube. I don't, I don't like it. I don't want you to do nothing. Listen, they need to do that. No, don't you yeah. dare do it. Thumbs up. Subscribe. And click that bell. There's all kinds of wonderful shirts over at shop.deadpits.com. Dot com. Simply the best horror shirts on T Public. There are others, but they all suck. You can get some Dead Pit Radio shirts. You can get Last South on the left. The Hills have eyes. Texas Chainsaw. Oh, wait, you can't say Texas Chainsaw. All kinds of shirts, folks. You're gonna love them. Shop.deadpit.com. Thank you to all of our supporters on Patreon. DeadPitOnPatreon.com is the only place to check out a complete archive of the old Dead Pit radio shows all the way back from 2005 on, in addition to the midweek shows, fan commentaries, exclusive podcasts, and much more. DeadPitOnPatreon.com if you're interested. Tears start at only $1. We ain't